Hello Taurus, this is Carrie from Celestial Forecasts with a brief check-in on your situation here. Whether you are single, whether you are in a relationship or in separation, let's go ahead and see what presents itself here. General advice as always, so please keep that in mind. You could also be cross-watching for Taurus. So I'll be starting off with the Fire and Ice Lenormand deck. This one's by Angelic Revelation 144. All right, so let's grab some insight. Let's see what's going on. So we've got quite a few cards jumping out all at the same time. Let's let's see what this is about. So cross, heavy burdens are coming through. We see mountain facing obstacles. We see the moon card. However, we do see the union card as well. So let's go ahead and read through these. Heavy burdens surrendering to the divine and redemption. So I feel maybe, Taurus, if you're feeling this, there has been something that's been weighing on you, whether it is love-related or something else going on in your life. We'll find out, of course, a little bit more once we tap into some tarot messages. Mountain, facing obstacles and challenges to rise and evolve. So whatever is weighing on you, whatever these burdens are, this is already telling us that you will rise above it, that you're going to overcome it. It could have something to do with your love life. We do have the moon card. And of course, the moon card in tarot, it can be representing Pisces. It can represent negative energies at times, secrets, lies, affairs, things of that nature, illusions, deception. So in this instance, it does say love, romance, intuition, psychic abilities, imagination, creativity, admiration, and achievement. So that's actually a much nicer element to that vibe of the moon, right? Might have something to do with our current lunar phase that we are in at the time that you are watching this. And then we do have union, hands joined in marriage. There doesn't necessarily have to be a marriage for your situation, although some of you might relate to that. If there are challenges going on in your love life, it does seem that it could be temporary and you guys could move on from whatever those challenges are. Bottom of the deck, we do see soulmate, past life love connection, soulmate or twin ray. Whether you feel drawn to this person through a very special soul bond or maybe you feel like they're more of a twin flame connection. You know, of course, take it how it resonates with you. But there's a strong enough bond here, guys, that is bringing you guys magnetically closer to each other, regardless of distance and time apart. Let's see. So breakups, challenges, I do feel you'll overcome it. Okay, so let's grab some tarot. I'll be pulling from my Luna tarot here. Look at that. Eight of Cups walking away. We do have the Ace of Wands, the Fool, the Hangman. So we're seeing Pisces come through for some of you. This makes sense for me, Taurus, especially if you have walked away from whatever that burden represents in order to start fresh, in order to go in a different direction, you know, maybe letting go of something or someone in order to get your life back on track. So if you're not interested, for example, in working things out with somebody from your past, you know, maybe you had a falling out with an ex and this is you on a very different journey at this point to find love, maybe something better than what you've ever experienced in your life where real love can finally come in for you. So I feel for some of the more difficult moments that you have endured, you've worked very hard on yourself perhaps, and you're just now at a point where you're just looking forward to better experiences. We do see that you've been hurt here. Three of Swords, for some of you guys, it could have been a love triangle or a third party situation. But if you don't relate to that part of the message, then this is simply telling us that you've been hurt by somebody. And we do see it through these cards. Otherwise, there would not be this heavy burden 
that's a part of your reading, more than likely, as well as these obstacles and challenges that are presenting itself to you, where you really had to work very hard to overcome it. So if you're in the thick of things, for example, and maybe you have yet to overcome that, just know that it certainly is a part of your vibe, your energy to do so. Look at that, the Hierophant picking up off of your own Taurus vibe, okay? So maybe you've learned some lessons due to past relationships here, Taurus. And maybe at this point, you're committed to someone else or committed to your own journey, throwing in some experiences here where you can put yourself first for a change. Committing to yourself, committing to your own fulfillment, your own happiness. And look at the next card. You've got the sun right there. You could connect with a Leo as well. Ooh, look at that Ace of Pentacles. And we do see the Two of Cups. So here's what I'm getting for you, Taurus. If you have not had the best experience in your romantic life, and people have disappointed you, people have hurt you, whether through infidelity, trust issues, or whatever that obstacle might have been. It is letting us know that life is going to move it towards a direction where you can find fulfillment, as I've mentioned, to find real love, real true love that can check all the boxes with somebody that can make you very happy, you know? So things are about to shift and change for you. And now look at this card. You've got the magician as well. You could connect with a Gemini. You could also connect with Virgo. That's presenting itself here. I'm also actually getting finances for you. Taurus, that could be improving as well. So even your career, your work environment looks really good because right now, as we enter into the first half of December, you're really in a good position to manifest abundance, prosperity, love, happiness, all of those amazing things that want to come in for you. So it's true, you know, it's time to really walk away and distance yourself from situations or people that have held you back and you know exactly who those people are, okay? Yes, you've experienced a tower moment, but you know what? So what? It's a part of your journey, but it's not the end destination for where you're meant to go. It's simply meant to teach you a lesson. And maybe you feel like you've hit rock bottom, but looking forward to what's coming in the future and maybe as early as the first half of December or even the second half, I feel there's a very different vibe and energy that's coming through here for Tauruses. So regardless of how things might have unfolded in past relationships or just something that might have happened in your life that could have been very challenging, things are about to change for the better. All right, guys, so I'll leave that there. Not a very long reading, but I feel that through this message, it really conveys what it is that you need to hear right now in a nutshell. All right, guys, so I'll leave that there. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Oh, 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 oh,